The topic for today is the product rule to the derivatives. This is also called differentiation of product of two functions. Differentiation means the derivatives. When you are asked to differentiate the product of two functions, two functions are multiplied to each other, then how will you manage the product rule? So see, this is the product rule. Let u be one function and v be the second function. And you are asked to calculate the derivative of u multiplied by v. Right? So what will be the rule? First, you calculate the derivative of the first function, which means the derivative of u, which I have written as u dash multiplied by the second function as it is, which is v. Okay, so derivative of the first function multiplied by the second function as it is plus first function, which is u as it is multiplied by the derivative of the second function, which is v. So what you get d by dx u multiplied by v is equal to derivative of u multiplied by v as it is plus u as it is multiplied by the derivative of v. It's very simple. See, derivative of the product of two functions, which means first function multiplied by the second function. So the answer will be the derivative of the first function multiplied by the second function. This second function will be copied as it is whatever is given in the question. Plus first function as it is multiplied by the derivative of the second function. Let us solve some examples to make the things more clear. Now see using this formula which is the product rule d by dx u v is equal to u dash v plus u v dash. The question given is d by dx x cube sin x. So as you can see clearly this is one function x cube and this is the second function sin x. So here we take u is x cube which is the first function and v it is sin x which is the second function. So here I have elaborated. Let me let us find out u dash. U dash here means the derivative of this function u. So u dash will be d by dx x cube which will be equal to applying the power rule. The power comes in the beginning. You will get 3 x square and the power of 3 will get subtracted by 1. You will get 2. So the derivative of u is equal to 3 x square. Right now. The second function, which is v, we will find the derivative of that function. If v is equal to sin x, then what is v dash? The derivative, it will be d by dx sin x. Now, what is the derivative of the sin x? It will be cos x. This x is supposed to come here, rather here. Okay, so v dash, which is the derivative of the second function, it is equal to cos x. Now, take this statement and put in the values which we just calculated. So d by dx x cube sin x is equal to the derivative of the first function 3x square written here multiplied by the second function sin x plus first function x cube as it is multiplied by the derivative of the second function which we calculated cos x. So what you get is 3x square multiplied by sin x plus x cubed multiplied by cos x. Now in this term you can take x square as common. Take x square common. For the first term you will be left with 3 sin x plus. For the second term you will be left with because x square has taken out you will be left with x. There is a little problem here. You will be left with x. This is x to the power 1 x multiplied by cos x. So what is the answer? x cubed 3 sin x plus x cos x. So this is how we calculate use the product rule. Now let us take another question. The question states y is equal to 7x minus 8 whole to the power 4 multiplied by 5x minus 1 whole to the power 3. So here again we can distinguish that this is the first function u and this is the second function v. 
So how will we calculate it? We will write dy by dx is equal to derivative of the first function multiplied by the second function as it is. So you will get d by dx 7x minus 8 whole power 4 multiplied by 5x minus 1 whole power 3, right? Plus first function 7x minus 8 whole power 4 as it is multiplied by the derivative of the second function d by dx 5x minus 1 whole power 3. Okay, now let us solve it. What will be the derivative of the first function? This is 7x minus 8 whole to the power 4. Applying the power rule, this will come in the beginning and you will get 4, 7x minus 8. The power will get subtracted by 1. You will get power 3 multiplied by the derivative of 7x. What is the derivative of 7x? It is multiplied by 7. Okay. Now copy this second function as it is. You will get 5x minus 1 whole power 3 plus this function will be copied as it is 7x minus 8 whole to the power 4 multiplied by. Now what is the derivative of 5x minus 1 whole to the power 3? Applying the power rule, this 3 will come in the beginning and the power will get subtracted by 1. You will get 3 multiplied by 5x minus 1 whole to the power 2 multiplied by the, <laughs> sorry, the derivative of 5x which is 5. Okay. Now we will solve it further. You multiply 4 by 7, you will get 28 multiplied by 7x minus 8 whole to the power 3 multiplied by 5x minus 1 whole to the power 3 plus 7x minus 8 whole to the power 4 multiplied by 3 into this 5 will give you 15. So how do you get it? This is, this is basically 3 and this is 5. So you multiply it, you will get 15 and 5x minus 1 whole to the power 2 will be copied as it is. Right. Now we can see that we can take certain items common. 7x minus 8 whole to the power 3 multiplied by 5x minus 1 square. This can be taken as common. What are you left with? In the first term, you will be left with 28 multiplied by 5x minus 1 whole to the power 1 plus. In the second term, you will be left with 15 multiplied by 7x minus 8. That's it. Okay. Now, if you will solve it further, your answer is coming to be, you can open this bracket. It's a normal calculation. You will get 7x minus 8 whole to the power 3 multiplied by 5x minus 1 whole to the power 2 multiplied by 245x minus 148. So what we did basically was the question was given to you as a product of two functions. Y is a product of two functions and you have to calculate the derivative. So you applied the product rule and got the answer. Let me take another example. See y is equal to 4 sin x tan x. Again, it is the product of two functions. The first function is 4 sin x here till here. This is the first function and tan x is the second function. Applying the product rule, you will be getting dy by dx is equal to d by dx first function. It means derivative of 4 sin x multiplied by tan x, which is the second function. Plus first function as it is 4 sin x as it is multiplied by the derivative of the second function, which is tan x. Now calculate the derivative. The derivative of 4 sin x is 4 cos x multiplied by this tan x will be copied here. Same way plus 4 sin x. As it is, what is the derivative of tan x? It is sec square x. Okay. Now, you just elaborate this tan x. It can be written as sin x upon cos x. So, you write down 4 cos x multiplied by sin x upon cos x plus 4 sin x sec square x, right? Now, this cos x from the numerator here, it gets cancelled with the denominator. You are left with 4 sin x in the first term plus 4 sin x sec square x as it is. Now what you take common is 4 sin x common. You are left with 1 plus sec square x. So this is another application of product rule here. Now see if you get the uh, y function as the product of three functions. Three, uh, Abhita, what we discussed was the product of two functions. If you are given the product of three functions, what will you do? Again, it is very simple. See here, y is equal to u, v, w. u being the first function, v the second function and this w is the third function. So how will you calculate the derivative? The derivative will be keep the Last two functions as it is vw and multiply it by the derivative of the first function u dash. Okay, you took the derivative of the first function u dash and kept the rest two uh, functions as it is. So it is vw multiplied by u dash plus. 
Now, you take the first function and the third function as it is multiplied by the derivative of the second function v dash plus. Take the first function and the second function as it is and multiply it by the derivative of the third function w dash. So the formula is dy by dx is equal to vw u dash plus uw v dash plus uv w dash. Okay. Now let me elaborate it with the help of an example. y is equal to 2x sin x cos x. Now see. 2x is the first function which it can be u, sin x is the second function which is v and cos x is the third function which is w. So applying this rule of dy by dx, this product of three functions, here you will get y is equal to, see the second function sin x multiplied by the third function cos x multiplied, multiplied by the derivative of the first function. So d by dx 2x, okay, plus the first function 2x as it is multiplied by the third function cos x as it is multiplied by the derivative of the now second function. So d by dx sin x plus the first function 2x as it is multiplied by the second function sin x as it is into the derivative of the third function d by dx cos x. Clear? Now fill in the values. So dy by dx will be sin x cos x, what is the derivative of 2x? The derivative of 2x uh, here, the derivative of 2x is basically 2. So you put the value here, plus 2x cos x copied as it is, the derivative of sin x is fill in here, cos x, plus 2x sin x as it is, derivative of cos x is minus sin x. Okay, so it's very simple. Basically, you have to remember that you take two functions at a time multiplied by the derivative of the first function plus second and the first uh, first and the third function as it is multiplied by the derivative of the second function and the second and the first function as it is multiplied by the derivative of the third function. Okay, is it clear? Now, see, very important, this rule is applicable if two functions are multiplicative. When you get the question y is equal to u multiplied by v, then we use the product rule. This rule is not applicable if two functions are additions. If you are getting the question y is equal to u plus v, then this product rule will not be used. Please keep it in mind. If your question states y is equal to u v, then this is applicable. Generally, the students, what they get confused is they will be using product rule in this equation also. No, it's not done. If it is multiplied, very well, this rule will be applied. And if it is added, if the two functions are added, then you will not use this rule. You will definitely do the normal addition of the derivatives. Okay. And one more thing I would like to make it clear that the order doesn't matter. Like I told you that dy by dx is equal to u dash into v plus v into u dash, you can do it either way. You can do the first function as it is multiplied by the derivative of second function v dash plus v as it is the derivative of the first function u dash. So that order is not mandatory to be kept. But the things you have to keep in mind is that y is equal to uv if the functions are multiplied, only then this product rule is applicable. So here we come to the end of the article. I hope I've made the things very clear. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, you please feel free to write in the comment section. Kindly like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Stay blessed.